Here's my AI coding process for a real-world profitable SaaS app with many users. This is not for vibe coding MVPs that have zero users that you're going to throw away. This is if you have a product or a mobile app and you have lots of users and it's important you don't break stuff. I use Claude code. I use the Opus model. I usually start in normal mode, not planning mode. Planning mode is very weird. And then I transition to auto accept edits mode when Claude actually starts coding. Whenever I work on something new, I type slash clear to clear the context and start fresh. And then I have a shortcut defined in my ClaudeMD rules file. I type Q new, then Claude knows to read my ClaudeMD file and understand all of my coding best practices listed there. Next, I discuss my user story with Claude and make a plan, making sure to simplify it as much as possible, remove unnecessary features or optimizations it's trying to do, question anything sketchy. I spend a lot of time on this step refining the plan Plan before Claude even starts coding. When I'm pretty happy with the plan, I have the shortcut Q plan that tells Claude to analyze similar parts of my code base and determine whether its plan is consistent with the rest of the code base, introduces minimal changes, uses existing code. Believe it or not, this Q plan step does wonders. It makes such a big difference. Once I'm finally happy with the plan, then we start coding. I have another shortcut and I type Q code, Claude knows to implement the plan, making sure all new tests pass, always run old tests to make sure it didn't break anything else, run prettier to ensure standard formatting, and last, do type checks and lint checks. Once Claude code has produced its initial draft of code for the feature, I use shortcuts like Q check, Q check F and Q check T pretty frequently. They basically tell Claude to review its code changes, ensuring that the new code adheres to my best practice checklists for writing functions and writing tests. And grab my functions and testing checklists from my Claude MD file if you click the link in my bio. Okay, so while Claude's actually coding, I like to open the working tree and view Claude's real-time edits to all the files so I can follow along with its thought process and propose changes. I look for things like spaghetti code, like blocks of code that aren't easy to follow, um, substantial changes to the API layer or backend functionality, unnecessary imports, functions, or comments. And just like in Cursor AI, I'll highlight a code block and be like, is there a better way to do this? And frequently there is. When I'm happy with the code and it's time for me as a human to test it, I type Q UX. This tells Claude, imagine you're a human UX tester of the feature you implemented, output a comprehensive list of scenarios you would test sorted by highest priority. And this is super helpful because I kind of get lazy towards the end. I just want to push it, but I should really test it more. This step outputs a full UX testing list and I go through the list one by one. I've heard of people hooking it up to Puppeteer 